Hello, everybody. This is Manoli here with Manoli's Musings. I am your your gracious host, your your leader, your fearless leader, your host. I'm here, here to talk to you, here to talk to you, you know. Always good speaking to you, even though I can't hear you, but, you know, I know you're listening. And, you know, I, I think I talk to you people enough anyway. Let, let me do the talking here, okay? Y'all are all running your mouths. I know who listens to this show. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you, okay? I love you all. Anyone who listens to this show, I love you. Uh -huh. All right. First of all, wow, I, I cannot believe that I got to interview uh, President Fastides on Monday. It was really, really great. Uh, I mean, I can't thank him enough for coming on the show. Uh, it was a big honor. It, I'm very grateful for him. He's he's a generous guy. He's a uh, He's, you know, he's done a great job um, with the university, and I was, I was very glad that he came back as interim, and I'm glad I get to accept my diploma from him tomorrow. So, uh, yes, thank you again, President Pastides. It was really, really a, a rare pleasure, really. And if you haven't listened to that episode, well, what are you waiting on? I mean, this is a, you see the guests that I bring to you. I, I bring, you know, exalted guests. Um, no, it was. Uh, it was very humbling to have him on on my show. Um, yeah, so that was fantastic. Um, I do graduate tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm I'm happy happy to do it. But you know, I'll miss some aspects of college naturally. Um, but you know, eh, on to the next step. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird feeling. You know, I had all this work to do, all this stuff, and now it's it's just, it's over. I I feel like I. I'm sitting here, I feel like I should be doing something, you know, schoolwork, but there's nothing looping over my head, no pianos over my head, no safes. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, it's a weird feeling, very odd. All this stuff, the culmination of all my studies, and then it's just over. I had my last assignment due Monday. Uh, it was, uh, I got it done, you know, with a couple of hours to spare, so that's good. Uh, yeah, that took a lot out of me. That was hard to do. It was a uh, for an Italian class, and it was just it's time consuming writing in another language. You got to make sure you're doing it right. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it took a lot of time. It took a lot out of me, but I, I did it. I got my final grades in. You know, I, I had a good, a strong ending semester. I have a good GPA. You know, uh, I uh, I'm I'm proud of my work that I did here. I picked up my medal for the Honors College for graduating from there uh, the other day. And I, I said, I'm glad I get something out of all this work. You know, I was joking with the ladies there, as I do. You know, Manoli's full of witty remarks, isn't he? Or he likes to think so, at least. Uh, and they're like, yeah, you're also good at a degree. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, of course. I said, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Today, I went and I got my performance certificate from the music school. So that's another thing. Um, I'm proud of the work I did musically too. I think I did. I think it. Uh, I think I grew exponentially as a singer under my teacher, and I thought I got to perform with the operas and the chorus, and you know all the all the good stuff. It was uh, it was really great being able to do that while also pursuing a business degree. It was you know it's a big reason of my coming here. I would say that and being in the honors college, being in the international business business program, it was like yeah, I got all I got to do it all. I have no regrets. No regrets. Well, maybe if I sit here and think of some. No, I'm kidding. What, what do I have to say? I had, you know, it was a great time, a great experience these four four years, and uh, yeah, um, even with the COVID stuff, you know, not be in there for a while, it was, uh, you know, that was the hard part. Uh, that was sad, you know, not being on campus, but eh, you know, if you take it as it comes and, you know, you can't change the circumstances, but, uh, you know, you have to excel in, excel in them no matter what. So I did. And, uh, yeah, I'll put a, I'll put a uh, bow on it tomorrow at graduation or commencement, as they say, and uh, walk across that stage and shake the hands and take the pictures and uh, all of that. So, wow, that's a long time, four years, and then it's over in a day. Yeah, I, I have, I, you know, these these past couple of days where I've had no work to do, it's like, what do I do? I've been watching so much TV. <laughs> I've been watching uh, The Wire, which is a very good show, by the way. Um, no spoilers, please, because I'm only about 
almost done with season two, but my friend Max, he said, he said, you got to watch The Wire. I said, well, you have to watch The Sopranos. So he finished The Sopranos way before I finished The Wire. So I watch things slowly. I, you know why? Because I, I just, uh, I like to watch a little bit of one thing, a little bit of another thing. So I've been watching like The Wire and Survivor and, oh, Hell's Kitchen and, uh, yeah, Curvy Enthusiasm, as always, when I need a laugh. Um, <laughs> a good show for that. Uh, yeah, but I've also been busy, you know, in my own right. Last weekend, uh, I had a wedding to go to in Greenville, South Carolina, which is about 90 minutes away from here. Uh, my cousin Amanda, very dear cousin to me, she got married. Uh, you know, it was a very nice wedding. I, you know, I, I've said before, I'm not a huge wedding guy, but this was a good one. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a beautiful wedding, a beautiful reception. Uh, everyone who was involved in planning that, you know, very nicely done. It was a great time. I'm happy for my cousin. I have to give her credit. She, uh, she, she was, <laughs> she was up there. She didn't cry. She didn't get choked up. She just stood there and smiled the whole time. You know, <laughs> I was proud of her. You know, not that there's anything wrong with crying at the wedding. It's just, you know, usually some people are there. You know, they get all, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, but yeah, I was impressed by her performance, I should say. Um, yeah, the reception was beautiful uh, at a country club. Yeah, the Leo was happy. He got to run around, you know, play with rocks and stuff with his cousins. And uh, oh, he was also he was also the ring bearer. Well, one of three. I'm sorry, one of two. Yeah, so he he was a ring bearer, and he was walking down the aisle, and I was filming him, and he spotted me filming. So as he's walking by, <laughs> he raises his fist up, and he just punches my phone. You know, that's that's Leo for you. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. I, I, I'm so glad I got that on video. He just walked by. He, he looks, he raises his fist up. He stares at the camera. He just whacks it on his way by. And he walks off and he puts his hands in his pocket. Yeah, so what did we do? We did the rehearsal dinner thing. Uh, I got the invite to that. My sister was a bridesmaid. Uh, that wasn't anything, which is fine by me. You know, that's responsibility. <laughs> well, I don't know what I would be. I can't be a bridesmaid. It was my cousin Amanda, you know. What, what am I supposed to do? But my goodness, they had a, they had an army up there. They had like 12 groomsmen, 11 bridesmaids. It was, it was a lot of people up there, which is great. You know, it just shows that they got a lot of friends. I think that's wonderful. Um, but yeah, it was like, man, are you people all going to fit on the on the altar there? <laughs> it was a tight squeeze. Um, a very nice wedding, yeah. Once again, congratulations, Amanda. Congratulations, Tanner. God bless you. All of that. I know my Aunt Chris is happy. Um, yeah, it was great. It was a nice time. Uh, and I before I forget, I have to do an, uh, a first for Manoli's Musing. This is an in memoriam segment. Uh, so in memoriam, we have uh, my Aunt Chris's dog, uh, Misty. Misty, uh, she was a poodle. Um, yeah, she, she died. Uh, I, don't, I don't know when exactly, but, you know, a good dog, you know, a little hyperactive, a little nervous, but, you know, a good dog. She was little, so she, she didn't do much damage, and yeah, she was good, you know. Misty, Misty was a good dog, I would say, and uh, I have to recall... It was a short story or a poem or something I wrote back in like third or fourth grade, maybe. And it was, uh, <laughs> I said, uh, Misty is my Aunt Chris's dog. And Misty looks like Aunt Chris. And Aunt Chris looks like Misty because Misty was one of those poodles with like the poofy ears and the poofy hair. And my Aunt Chris, her, her hair is kind of like that. And they, you know, they're, she was a skinny dog. My Aunt Chris is a skinny woman. Right, Aunt Chris? Um <laughs> And so I, I think I think my little psyche there, my little eight or nine year old self, just said, uh, "Yeah, that's like the dog represents the person, you know." And <laughs> and so I wrote, "It's like, is it Aunt Chris or is it Misty? It's hard to tell." Yeah. So I don't know how my aunt feels about being compared to a dog, but you know, you know, I yeah, you know, this is this is ten, eleven years later. Okay, uh, kids say the darndest things. Just talk to Leo, and he, you'll hear some things, but. Uh, that was amusing. I think she got a kick out of that, I would say. I hope so. Um, so, yeah, rest in peace, Misty. I'm sorry you couldn't make it to the wedding. I don't think she would have came anyway. But I'm sorry you couldn't make it to the wedding, okay? Uh, rest in peace. Um, 
yeah, so we did the wedding thing. We did all that. Uh, I drove back. Actually, I drove back the day of the wedding and come back and work on this stuff. This stuff is just dragging me down. It's dragging me down, people. Dragging me down. Um, but I did it. A Sunday, 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 Sunday. Um, friend of mine, Sarah, it was her uh, birthday. And uh, she said for her, it was the day before her birthday. She said for her birthday, she wanted to go to a bingo hall. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from, but so we, we went to Mr. Bingo uh, in, in West Columbia. And uh, it was an uh, interesting experience, to say the least. Uh, let, me, let me try to set the stage for you. So we walk in. Immediately, I, it, the smoke in this place was just, it, it hits you like a ton of bricks. I mean, I, I never, I have, you know, I, I still remember the days when you could smoke in restaurants. And, you know, I've been to lots of casinos, but I, I don't know if I've ever experienced the amount of cigarette smoke that hit me on that day. Um, you just noticed in the media that I'm looking, I'm like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing here? You know, this is what I do the last week of college. You know, most people are out partying. I go to a bingo hall. Um, <laughs> anyway, I walk in there and I'm just like, oh, my gosh, the smoke. The smoke, I guess it's part of the experience. But then I looked and they had a room in the back. It was closed off and it was the non-smoking section. It was very small compared to the uh, the main section, which is unusual because usually if there is a section, it would be the smoking section. They put them in the room. But th that just goes to show you what's going on here. The more people smoke than not. The vast majority of them do, but you know, I'm, I'm not judging. It was just, uh, it was. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's not something you see a lot nowadays. Um, yeah, what am I saying here? Uh, anyway, we go in and it, it, it's, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. I mean, why can't we just play bingo? Does it have to be comp so complicated? I go to the desk. I have to fill out a registration sheet, you know, sign my will off to these people, write my name in blood just to play the bingo. I mean, what is that? What is going on? I have a player's card now for Mr. Bingo. This is what my life has come to. This is what it is. I had to fill out all my information. They're like, who's your spouse? I'm like, ha -ha. Um, it's like your, your address, your, your email, all, all this stuff. Just to, I'm like, can't I just buy the bingo card? Why do I have to register? Why do I have to go through all this? It took us like 15, 20 minutes just to get the dang cards. I sign up. Um, I'm a, yeah, I'm a VIP at Mr. Bingo. How about that? How about that, people? You see who you're talking to? A VIP. Uh-huh. You see? You better be nice to me. That's all I could say. I, I got the, I got a lot of uh, a lot of cloud over there, Mr. Bingo. Um, anyway, I fill out the you know the Declaration of Independence and I give it back to them. They they say, well, how? What do you want to play? I'm like, I don't know. Just give me whatever it is. She's like, it's like okay, the the package is how much? Uh, you know, this much. I'm like, all right, whatever. I, you know, I'm here. I'm not, I'm not going to come back here. I hope not. Um, and so. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, I got this thing and they hand me this little device, this, this digital bingo thing. I'm like, wow, this is pretty high tech for, uh, for where we are, you know? And, uh, yeah, so we go, we get our stuff, we sit down and I'm looking around, uh, you know, I'm just looking around at my surroundings, this building. I don't know when it was built. Um, I assume it's been there for a while. Uh, it was an interesting place. You know, they had a little concession stand. They were selling gizzards, um, you know, that kind of place. Uh, very interesting. There was holes in the ceiling and weird brown sludge or slime dripping from the, you know, it was like on the wall, like just drip marks of some uh, substance. I, I didn't want to ask too many questions. Um, it was, uh, yeah, the, the ceiling had a bunch of holes in it. There, there was, uh, yeah, the bathroom was a little frightening, I have to say. Uh you know, I don't know what you expect. Yeah, you know, I guess that's what I guess that's what a bingo hall looks like. I don't know, I don't know. Um, anyway, we I, I go to the bathroom, right, and I'm walking out, and this guy's walking in front of me. He goes, "I've been coming here for four months, and I ain't won nothing." <laughs> I had to put that in my quote book. I have a quote book, and I, he he definitely made it in the quote book with that. I ain't won nothing. I'm like, well, that bodes well for us. Proceed to sit down. Uh, I don't know. It was very confusing. I didn't know what games were playing. They were speaking in some indecipherable language 
up there they're like all right this is a bonus intermission you know to play your play this car here and this is a one dollar card and do you want a bonus slip and this is intermission and the bonus round and I'm, I'm like what is that what is going on okay thank god i had a digital thing and some of the patterns that you had to get it was absolutely indecipherable if i didn't have the computer i could have won and not known it i, I swear it was very confusing it was very confusing the the, the patterns you have you know because they can't just play regular bingo. You gotta play, you know, the picture frame or the pack of nine, pack of six, that kind of thing. Um, thank God there was this very sweet woman to the left of us, and she was helping us out. She was coaching us along. I said, "I'm sorry for my incompetence." She's like, "Oh, you're fine. Y'all, y'all are fun." Anyway, but when it was playing, you know, it was dead, dead, deadly silent. Okay, it was very serious business here. This is very serious bingo playing. Okay, you know that. You got to stay focused. You got to make sure you get the numbers and get the calls. And the lady who was calling, they had two callers. One, the one guy was all right, but the lady who was calling sounded very uh, disgruntled. Um, she's like, she's like, I-25 and 67 I'm like, geez, is it that bad in here? I'm like, man, don't sound so upset about it. She's like, she's like, <clears throat> You know, B five. It was like very. I was I was starting to get depressed, really, from this lady. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, hey, I, I really don't want to know your backstory. What the? Hell? What is going on with you? I'm like, don't say. I mean, you know, you got to be a little bit of a showman, I would think, just to, you know, be an elected caller. I mean, this is a high ranking position in the world of bingo. Um. Yeah. So. We're sitting there. We get our stuff together. I mean, my God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the game is. You know, I'm trying to work this computer. They're like, don't touch anybody else's computer or else you will lose thousands of dollars. I'm like, my gosh, what is it? Is there a penalty with it of touching somebody else's machine? But I didn't dare do it. Um, how many people were there? Like, like six or seven. Yeah. It's it was interesting. Uh, I'm glad I got the invite. But anyway, the first game starts, right? Deathly silent. Very serious. Everyone's tuned in. Everyone's ready to go. They're ready to win some bingo. Uh, I'm sitting next to the birthday girl, Sarah. Uh, and she's playing. <laughs> she's playing. She's like, I'm here. I'm listening to her. I'm like, I want, she's like, oh, I want one away. I'm like, huh? I'm like, I don't see that. She's like, I want away. And then she goes, she goes, oh, I got bingo. I got bingo. Bingo. Bingo! And I look and it's like, Sarah, that's not the game. That you have to get a pack of nine. She's like, bingo, bingo. I'm like, Sarah, stop. That's not the game. You don't have bingo. She's she's up, she's yelling, screaming, all happy. She's like, oh and of course it's say everyone's looking at her. They come over there, the 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 checker comes over there. And, and then I'm like, Sarah, look, it's, it's, she's like, I have bingo, look, five in a row. I'm like, that's not the game. We're like, Sarah, that's not the game. She's, she stood up, her chair fell over. She was yelling, screaming. <laughs> the woman comes over. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry. You don't have bingo. And I mean that they looked at us like we, like we had just killed someone, the people in there. They're like, oh, look at these amateurs. They don't know what the hell's going on. And we're like, uh. It was absolutely hysterical. That made the whole experience for me. She's like, bingo, bingo. I'm like, no, no. And it was too late. The commotion had been raised. And the lady's like, oh, do we have do we have a bingo in the non-smoking section? The lady goes, no, it's a false alarm. She's like, oh, it's a false alarm. Next number, 062. I'm like, gosh. Very serious. I mean, you use call bingo here, and it's not a bingo. They're going to shoot you. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't win anything, even though I do consider myself a good bingo player. I know it's luck, but, you know, I like to think that there's some skill involved. Uh, actually, no, I don't, I don't think there's any skill involved. It, 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 it's a luck-based game. But, you know, I've had some luck in bingo before. Um, I was I was a little upset I didn't win, you know. I'm a VIP now. I, I'm a member. you got to fix the deck in my favor. Uh Anyway, what was that, Sunday? Yeah, I could have been doing my work then, but I was playing Mr. Bingo. Uh, no, it was, it was a very funny experience. We had our advisors. Uh, it was it was very entertaining, actually. Uh, and thank you for the invite, you know, Courtney and Sarah and Alec and all those people. Uh, it's a good time.
uh, yeah, so Monday was the next day. I finished my work. Uh, I interviewed President Pastides. Once again, thank you, President Pastides. Big honor. Um, put that out. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, you know, the, like Tuesday, Wednesday, today, it's been like I've been doing nothing. I've been watching TV. I watched an opera the other day. Uh, in my opinion, the most underrated opera of all time, Monteverdi's Il Ritorno di Ulisse in Patria, which maybe it's going to catch on because of a very long name. Uh, <laughs> but great opera. I mean, really, uh, you know, the, uh, his last opera, L'Incoronazione uh, di Popea, gets a lot more attention, but I think Ulisse is better. I, I honestly do. Um, I think the story is better. I think the music is somewhat better. I think, I, I love them all, don't get me wrong. I love Monteverdi. He's one of my very favorites. Uh, but I think I like that opera better overall. Plus, it takes place in Greece, so, you know, I'm, I'm biased in that regard. It's like it's like the end of the Odyssey when Odysseus comes back to uh, Penelope on Ithaca, and he's, you know, trying to trying to win her back, and he slays her suitors, and it's very entertaining, actually. Um, beautiful music. Yeah, really underrated opera. If you're at all an opera fan, please go listen to that. I watched the, uh, I like the full recording uh, that, the famous uh, Monteverdi interpreter Nicholas Harnoncourt made. Um, I like the full recording, you know, from I think it was in the seventies that he made that. I like that the best. This was the film version directed by Jean Pierre Ponel, which is great, but it's it's uh, it's very it's they cut a lot of it. So the I think the audio only set is like close to three and a half hours long. This is about two and a half. So they cut basically an hour of music, which is really a lot when you think about it. Um, so yeah, but other than, otherwise, you know, it's a good, it's a good film. Uh, very well directed. You know, the staging is fantastic, you know, for Ponell, you know, no surprise there. Uh, singing, man, you know, some people are good. Some people are not so good, but I'm not going to name names. <laughs> the singers are better on the audio only. But yeah, if, you know, whichever version you watch, you could start with the film version and listen to the audio. Give it a try. If you're at all interested in opera, give it a try. All right. There you go. There's the opera segment for today. Um, yeah. What else have I been doing? Um, oh goodness, well, I'm about to knock everything over here. Um, I went to a. We had an event last night. It was for international business students. It was the banquet. So. Yes, it was the banquet. It was very nice. Uh, I actually, I saw my uncle first. He was having an event, and it was right across the street from the banquet. So I went to him first, and I hung out, and I saw some of his people. Um, good to see you in the know, as always. Um, yeah, yeah, and I, uh, you know, they had an open bar, so I had a, a Tito's, maybe two. I had some barbecue there. It was a very nice event. Thank you for the invite. Uh, yeah, then I walked over to the the banquet for IB, which said they were proud to be alcohol free. I'm like, oh, you went through all this work to get this degree, and I gotta, I gotta have some booze. Uh, but oh well, they could have made some money out of it. These are business people, right? A cash bar. Huh, think about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was a very nice event. Uh, I was, I was, you know, happy to be there. I got some good freebies. Uh, they fed us. You know, we did speeches. Everyone got their cord uh, for international business. Um, yeah, it was a very nice event. I saw a lot of my friends there. I was like, my goodness, I forgot how many people I knew who were IB managers. And so I saw a lot of them. Uh, yeah, nice event. Yeah. You know, I got my cord, so I'm going to be decked out. I have my honors medal, my honor corps, my international business cord. I'm going to be decked out for graduation. Serves me right, right? You know, I did a lot of hard work. A little bit of recognition there, huh? <laughs> um, no, very nice event. I was I'm glad I went. I was tossed around, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'll go. And my father's like, you should go. I'm like, no, all right. Um, I was glad I did, so thank you, Father. Um, hmm, what else to talk about? Oh, yeah, so that was last night. Uh, Wednesday, I went to Jake's, which is, that's like the thing you do on Wednesdays. When you're a senior, you go to Jake's, which is a bar here. Um you want to go to the outside part, you know, the outside's better than the inside, particularly right now, but it, it was hot. I will say that it was very hot, but I mean, the line to get into this place, I cut because I saw some of my friends, uh, pretty close to the entrance, which, you know, once again, it's an unwritten rule that if you know people in line, you get to cut. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I don't, I don't make the rules. I made this one, but, uh, it's not the point. 
uh, yeah, so I saw my friends and I, they had been waiting for oh, about two hours. I might've waited 25, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, pretty good deal. Get it, got in walking around. It was, you know, I saw a lot of people I knew there it was happening, you know, a lot of people there. Uh, yeah, it was hot. So I had some, some beers, um, spent my dollar on beer, uh, yeah, so uh, and I saw a lot of people I knew. And I saw this one girl I knew. I was speaking to her. And her friend walks up. She's like, hi, Robert. How are you doing? I'm like, uh, what? He's like, Robert, right? I'm like, no. I mean, let me tell you something. I have been called a lot in my day. A lot of things. Jerk. Buffo. Idiot. I mean, name-wise, uh, uh, you know, Stromboli, Ravioli, Fazoli, Cannoli, Milano, Manny, Mandy, Mano Lies, uh, what else here? Manila, don't understand that one still. Uh, Maholi, Holy Manoli, I like that one. Uh, what else? What else? And then the spellings are always interesting, too. Uh, Manola, Manelli, Manotti, yeah, Manotti, um, yeah, I, I've been called pretty much everything I could possibly think of, and, uh, never in my days have I been mistaken for a Robert, um, I'm not sure how to feel about that, it was very funny, it was, co totally caught me off guard, I'm like, uh, what, he's like, you're not Robert, I'm like, no, I am not Robert. And they, so they call me Robert for the rest of the night, these people. These are the people I'm surrounded by. They just like to antagonize me. Everybody's got to take a shot at Manoli, you know? Everybody's got to come after me. They always got to yeah, make fun of my name or, you know, something I said or, you know, something. They got to they gotta come after my Dodgers. It's a, it's a hard world out there, you know? And I know that people listen, and some of you are guilty of this too, so don't even try it with me, always taunting me, this and that. No, I love my listeners. Um, actually, you know, last night I had more than one person. They were like, Manoli, I love your show. I'm like, you listen? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And not that I can't believe people don't listen. It's just it's it's nice to be recognized for it, you know? And it's like, wow. They're like, wow, I, I really do have an audience here. It's not just a bunch of robots or something. Like a robot um, reference there to uh, Angela's mother on YouTube, which is a very funny Greek lady. Go watch her videos. They're absolutely hysterical. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was very nice to be recognized. It was very nice that my friends have been listening. Uh, thank you again. I, you know, I love my listeners. I can't thank you enough. I, you know, you're, you're a big part of this and I really do appreciate everyone who listens. I really, truly do. It means a lot to my little heart. Um, yeah, but that was fun. Uh, nice to be recognized. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this is it. This is my last last night as a college student. The, the, the countdown is on. It's the end of the road. And the beginning of a new one. You know, a little monolosophy for you there. You know, life goes on. It's just, It's not the end, it's the beginning. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Um, no, I'm not worried. I'm excited to be graduating. It's, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's why I'm here. Get a degree. And I did it. I did it. And I did it. Uh, I did it my way. Regrets. I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. Yeah, all of that. Um, great song, by the way. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I think I'm done with you people. I think that's it for me. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get some food and then I'm going out, you know. I know I have graduation tomorrow. It's not till three, okay? What do you want from me? Um, <laughs> no, I won't get too uh, rowdy, I don't think. You know, I gotta be presentable. So, I gotta be up early, too. We're taking pictures. I gotta shower, all that all that jazz. So that's it for me, people. It's good talking to you, as always. Uh, and I'll see you next episode. I have a good interview for you. Uh, that'll be the next up. My good friend Alec, who was also at the side of the bingo hall, 
expedition. Alec is a great guy. I, I'll have his episode up for you next uh, next time, so in the next few days. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, once again, everyone who listens, thank you so much. Always like, subscribe, follow me on Spotify, follow me everywhere. Not literally, but, you know, figuratively, you know, in a social media sense, okay? We live in a social media age. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you very much, and have a good night.